The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup Final? The action comes your way next on EA TV. Well, this is it. No grander occasion in football, and what a perfect venue for fitting the unique circumstances. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box to enjoy the spectacle is Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff now in the World Cup final. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Ruben Neves plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Look at the opposition starting lineup today. Well, they're also playing in a 4 3 3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. And they kick off here. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to save her. Well, as you can see again, Fernandez plays a perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders. And I have to say, the finish from Ronaldo is just brilliant. He's such a good technician. It's a wonderful goal. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Slipshot passing. And that pass could be troublesome. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Cristiano Ronaldo. On the ball, Joao Felix. And a chance to whip it in here. Could be! Oh, fine stop. And over comes the corner. Well, a really good idea, but missing by a large margin. Good work from Portugal to win back possession. Time to play it over. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Oh, in with a chance. 
surely. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And this is Ronaldo at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Estupinian. Caicedo. Alan Franco. He's given it straight to the opposition. And teammates around him. Well, racing past his man. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Ronaldo. Top class defending. Alan Franco. This looks promising. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. Goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. Ecuador. Moving it forward. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Franco. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Can they hit on the break? And a good-looking ball. Oh, just narrowly off target. Well, they broke with such pace and intent. Fantastic move. Just couldn't quite cap it off. No oh, mistake by the keeper. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. won the ball dangerous looking through ball Ronaldo and the ball's gone well that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball Cross needed to be better than that one. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And that'll be offside. Carlos Grueso. Estupinian. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Oh, could be! Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Tremendous ball played through. Ronaldo. Ronaldo! Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. 
And over comes the corner. Well, it still could be dangerous. And the keeper there to deal with it. Must be. Well, just look at this piece of skill. He times this absolutely perfectly. Great connection as well. We'll see this for years to come. Fantastic goal. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. An incisive pass. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. And Portugal will get the throw in. Joao Cancelo deserves credit for winning the ball back. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Caicedo. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Fernandes. Ronaldo. Well, the supporters think it's on. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. And it's gone behind for the corner. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Underway again, and certainly dazzling football from Portugal in the first half. Will it be more of the same in the second? Ronaldo. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Really bright looking attack. And a goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Well, he tried to put everything into the shot, but couldn't find the target. intervention Franco textbook defending inside the box Ronaldo untidy in possession Ener Valencia. This might be ideal for the counter. And possibilities inside the box. And reading it absolutely superbly. Well, Portugal had more of the possession, as you can see, and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch. Oh, wait a minute. They could well be in. And he's on.
Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick, but he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. So the action underway again here with Portugal very much in control. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Something to worry about here. Brilliantly blocked. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Well, as things turned out, no advantage accrued to them. And she's awarded the free kick. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. Leal. And back with Bruno Fernandes. Opportunity here. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Estrada. Caicedo. Franco. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Looking for the angle. A poor cross, all things considered. Still possibilities. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Cristiano Ronaldo and the pass not finding its target well that's one for them to pursue but it looked as though he might be onto something but his timing left a bit to be desired yeah that's frustrating because he's just been too impatient there he doesn't need to make his movement quite so early 20 minutes remaining read it superbly to take back possession Valencia Really vital interception. Plata. Possession changing hands. He has teammates around him. Bruno Fernandes. Well, there to intercept. Rafael Leao. Promising sequence. Neves. And snuffing out the danger. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. So making the substitution now. Corner kick played in. Intense pressure. Guerrero. Rafael Leao. Neves. On to Silva, and it might be, in it goes! Such a complete performance, four in front now. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. lingering doubts about the outcome surely they now have been removed well it comes down to the final five minutes great strong tackle throw in forthcoming teammates available chance to finish well they 
pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Here's Rodriguez. Magnificent defending. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Gonzalo Plata. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. The world champions! And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.